Hello everybody. Today we will glue the final planks but before that the sides and the stern must be prepared. As was mentioned in the previous episode one decided to glue veneer pieces around gun ports and ore ports. Here I quickly glued wood pieces using CA glue and sanded flush with the side. I will trim the insides later. All that is left is to drill holes for breaching ropes eye bolts. I will drill them diagonally using a hand drill using 0.6 mm drill bit. The English translation was provided by www.craftasailor.com. The board behind pin rails will also be reinforced the top timbers are not covering these areas completely. I will simply glue additional wood pieces there. Next, let's look at the bow. I forgot to glue a small part there this should have been done before gluing bulwark planking. I will use CA glue there and then sand flush. CA glue takes a long time to glue wood that's why I started using CA glue accelerator. It's in aerosol form, CA glue momentarily solidifies when contacting it. The aerosol doesn't leave any stains at all and evaporates quickly. It is a very useful thing if something needs to be glued quickly or a hole needs to be patched. Next hoss holes and a bowsprit hole must be drilled. It is very important to not chip the inner planking. That's why I only drill until the inner planking and then grind the hole using rotary tool. The bowsprit hole is made similarly but slightly smaller diameter than needed so it can be adjusted to bowsprit's diameter later. The bow is finished, the remaining parts need be glued in the stern and the taffrail needs to be assembled. Next a layer of veneer is glued on the keel and stems. 
This is needed to form a proper rabbit. The keel and the stern post are beveled along etched lines. The taffrail assembly begins with gluing inner planking. While glue hasn't dried I form the curvature of the taffrail by clamping it to the stern. The aft counter plate must be slightly bent and beveled before gluing. I will attach taffrail and the counter to each other once they are installed on the stern hence I'll use masking tape to prevent these parts gluing to the hull. Now we can finish gluing inner planking.
I align lower veneer layer with lower edge of the counter and the upper layer with the upper edge of the taffrail. The upper veneer layer doesn't reach the upper taffrail edge by 3 mm. I will glue a small piece there made of same veneer. Before gluing the outer planking the lower taffrail edge must be beveled. Next I will plank the stern. I will use the contact cement because PVA deforms veneer parts and they will have to be secured somehow and the iron can't fit in there. Contact cement is applied to both surfaces and then left for about 10 minutes to dry after that the parts are firmly pressed together. The edges of the planks should be flush therefore the plywood can to be chiseled flush with the glued planks.
The door hinges and handles will be glued later. The stern is finished the outer planking can be glued now. I align the upper strake with the gun ports and the upper edge of the bulwarks. I attached masking tape in the areas under channels because I will cover the hull with glue completely. I will use hot iron to glue planks hence both the hull and the planks are covered with glue. The glue must be completely dry. The glue on the planks must also dry so the planks glue faster. The hull is planked in two steps the transom is glued between these two steps. I used the following order to glue the transom parts. First, the top part then the central part and finally adjusted and glued the side parts. The central part turned out to be slightly thicker than needed it is preferable to adjust it before gluing. In my case it sticks out. 
I will sand it flush with transom and then restore planking lines. To secure planking and fill holes, I soak it with CA glue and then sand it. Bye everybody, and see you again.